Hi, I'm Callum and I'm the Transformation Lead for Remotely Piloted Air Systems at the CAA. Today I want to talk to you about our four pillar plan to enable more repeatable, scalable, beyond visual line of sight operations in the specific category. Pillar one focusing on additional pilot competencies. Pillar two focuses on flight worthiness of the platforms being flown. Pillar three, risk assessment methodology. And finally, pillar four, airspace. Pillar one, pilot competency. We've been listening to operators, and what you want is a simpler mechanism to demonstrate pilot competence when operating beyond visual line of sight in a specific category. We're working hard off the back of that feedback to develop enhanced pilot competency frameworks that can be delivered by recognized assessment entities to give you that clear pathway. Pillar two, flight worthiness. We know sometimes operators struggle to demonstrate the robustness of their platforms when applying for operational authorizations. This is especially important when seeking a beyond visual line of sight approval. We're developing a framework that industry and operators can use to benchmark their platforms against to more easily demonstrate the robustness of their platforms when applying for an operational authorization. Pillar three, assessing risk. We know that as we move to more advanced scaled operations, especially beyond visual line of sight, we need a really good mechanism to not just assess, but record the mitigations to risk. We will be adopting the SORA risk assessment methodology. This is gonna enable operators to have a clear pathway to not just identify the risks that are posed to their operation, but how they perceive to mitigate them as well. This makes it simpler, not just for the operator, but for the CAA to assess that prior to issuing an operational authorization. Pillar four, airspace. We know that if we're going to unlock truly scaled, repeatable, beyond visual line of sight operations, we need to move into operations in unsegregated airspace. In order to do this, we have some short, medium and long-term goals. In the short term, we're gonna look if we can enable operations using an atypical air environment, such as operations around a power line or railway infrastructure. Our medium and long-term ambitions focus on electronic conspicuity and visual and electronic detect and avoid solutions.